This man is called Edmund Arnon Cohen, but he prefers the name Girit, the Hebrew word for badger. For many years, Girit is helping different people in distress. He does so voluntarily, without any support of a public or private institution. Throughout history, artists and craftspeople had apprentices. There were generations of fathers who used to pass their craft to their kids. They started from the bottom. For example, painters used to have apprentices who cleaned their artist's palette. In my case, it's the opposite. I'm the butler. When someone asks me for help, I tell him I'm not a therapist or a healer, I'm an accompanier. I'm escorting people who are willing to help themselves. That's my prerequisite. I don't ask for money. They can pay me, but it's not one of my terms. In 1991, Girit, who was then in his late 30s, divorced with children, became homeless and lived in a deserted house in Tel Aviv. He decided to take this substantial experience and use it in his life. Being homeless was a great experience. In a way, it was a mentorship experience for me. All the friends I had from my youth until then chose a side. And it wasn't my side. I grew up a pleased child. And suddenly, I didn't please anyone. So I abandoned all my friends. I started to research the Torah. Then I got all kinds of ideas. I found out that the word me is used by only a few people. God uses this word, but other figures like Moses, King David, and so on, use it only once or twice. So I decided not to use the word me for three months. I didn't have money to eat. So I brought seed of wheat, honey, and yogurt. And that's what I ate for weeks. Girit's first apprentice was Sagi Biton, a young man from Mitzpe Ramon, a remote town near the Ramon crater in southern Israel. Sagi had some mental crisis in his youth. I got psychiatric pills, and then instead of being like a ball of fire, ready to erupt, I became a zombie. I told my parents, I'm not taking these pills any longer. I want to move in with Girit. He told me to sign a contract. This contract said that He's willing to let me live with him as long as I'll do whatever he tells me to. He told me, for instance, you want to go out? Fine, I'll go with you. Eventually, I came back to meet Pei Ramon. I looked at the sky and I said, this is where I want to be. This place I escaped from, I finally learned to love and accept. Girit was there every time I needed him. It's rare by any circumstance. This is what I needed. Someone who'd be there when I need it. I'm not a psychologist that I pay, and he says, so what about doing this or that? On the other hand, I can call Girid at midnight or 2 a.m., and he'll answer. Today, Sagi is a musician and a music teacher who mainly works in the southern districts of Israel. Another person who asked Giri to be his mentor was Pele, a person who suffered from post-traumatic stress disorder. My whole life fell apart. Family, friends, everything broke down. And I decided that I want to live. One of the biggest tragedies of our generation is that we lost the connection with the older generation. And no one really guides us how to walk this way of our lives. And suddenly we have someone who also passed the same road and came back with some conclusions. And we are walking on the same way. I can see his back in front of me. I'm really proud and happy to help other people to help themselves. Girit is not a professional therapist or doctor. According to him and his students, his treatment includes general housework, building a schedule, and basic daily tasks. We followed him as he works with Jay, an Arab woman who asked to remain anonymous. Jay found herself in severe condition, alone with her six children. Together, we managed to get open to the world and to bring joy back to my life. He gave me tools to breathe, to meet new people. It helped me a lot to gain trust with people. He gave me a specific schedule. This is something that lifted me from the ground. I think that we all need to be united. 
We don't need to look at our religion, Muslim or Jew. It doesn't matter. Recently, I started to volunteer in a place, and it also helped me know people from the inside. Girit's next project is called Tiferet, the Hebrew word for splendor. He's now trying to recruit a group of experts who will help him work within communities in need. When I was homeless, I used to pick up trash from the street and put it in the trash can. I remember that once I went to Eilat and I cleaned the beach with my children. People asked me, what's your point? I told them, what do you mean? This is my country. It's mine. If it's yours, do something. There's a philosophy and ideal behind Tiferet. But on the practical level, this is mine and I'm taking care of it. Though he's almost 70 years old, Girid is looking forward to his next project, hoping some more people can learn and even follow in his footsteps. When I think about Sagi or Pele, or about Jay, there's something of the unity in the deepest way I can think of. I'm not a spiritual person, but when people talk about unity, this is the unity experience I had.